Well, it seems I haven't met you either. I'm Sid. Sid? Yeah. Oh, oh. Sid, like Sybil Isabel Dorset. Hey, I hadn't thought about that. Well. But I'm different than her. I'm a boy. I'm like my dad. He's a builder, I'm a builder too. Yes, but you're not exactly like your dad, Sid. Sure, I am. I got arms and legs and everything. Well, not everything. Well, I never got that, but when I'm older, it'll grow. No. Now, listen to me. A boy in a girl's body doesn't grow up to be a man. This isn't a girl's body. My mother was a girl, and she was dirty. I'm no girl. Yeah, but all girls aren't like your mother. But Sid. I told you, I'm like my dad. And Mike's like Grandpa. We could give girls babies if we want well, to. not exactly. Yes, I don't... we can. What the hell do you know? You know, you're just trying to make me be like all the others, and I won't. We're all different. Can't you see that? We'll never be the same. Sybil! Sid! You know, you are very talented. Thank you. I've admired your work for a long time. So many different styles. That's not exactly a compliment. In my mind, it is. Would you like to go to an opening with me? I have a friend who has a No, gallery. thank you. Thank goodness you didn't go out with him. Dating is an occasion of sin. That's your opinion, Mary. But maybe if you could come together with Sybil, you might find that you have different ideas oh, about... Oh, I don't want to come together. I just want to be me. Well, you won't be losing who you are. No, think of it as a democracy where everyone no, has a... Too much freedom brings sin. Freedom doesn't always bring sin. It does if it frees you from God. Now, don't confuse God with religion, Mary. You blame the church for who we are. No, I blame ignorance and repression. Are you trying to take away my religion? I never said that. But you think it. You intend it. Freud and the church can't be right at the same time. Don't you see? What I am is evil. This is my punishment. If I get better, God will just punish me in another way. And what did you do that deserves this punishment? Well, I must have done something. Why else would God let this happen? I don't know, Mary, but I do know he wants you to get better. Getting better means killing myself, which it is does insane. not mean and killing yourself. And the world will end and I'll burn in hell. I'll never see Grandma. No, Mary, Mary. The end of the world that you're afraid of. the world as you know it now. There's another world, one of wholeness and freedom. Like all those little Russian nesting dolls being put back together. Each one is complete inside the other. You won't die. You'll increase. Well, what precisely do we have to do? <laughs> you have to introduce yourself to Sybil, Vanessa. You all have to meet. Wait, wait, now what good will that do? She doesn't even want to meet us. Look, Marsha, I don't have time to explain. Let me talk to Vicky. No, you'll talk to me. We know we're freaks, Dr. Will, but bringing us together will just make it worse. Woman first. No, you did not treat her. Given the you did not the treat her. You referred her. Hell! I'm your colleague. I'm not your student anymore. If you disagree with me, then tell me to my face, but don't humiliate me in front of all these people. I'm not you. You are why doing that yourself. Why is this so important to you? I mean, why do you think I'm forcing these personalities on You're her? You're getting hysterical. Oh, wow. down. There she is again. This hysterical female. Stop that. <laughs> 
You think I'm showing you up, don't you, huh? That's it, isn't it? Uh -huh. This isn't about civil or psychiatry or anything else. It's about me career. not knowing my place. You're an ambitious woman, Connie. Yeah? Yeah, well, what's wrong with that, Hal, huh? Oh, wait. There's a great deal wrong with it. And the operative word is woman. Oh, come on, Connie. Hello? Ramon! Oh, thank God, someone's here I can talk to. Uh, how are you, Sibu? Don't call me that. Call me Vanessa. It's kind of a nickname. I'm bored and I'm starved. Let's go get something to eat, okay? You mean like a date? Sure, why not? Just the three of us. Who knows, you might even get lucky. another nickname. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could call it that. You're kidding me, right? No. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Two, please. my feelings for you. Oh, thank you, Ramon. It's beautiful. <gasps> I love you, Sibyl. Or Vanessa, or whatever you want to be called. I want to take you home to Argentina to meet my family. No, 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 no. Sibyl, it's just a kiss. What's going on? I mean, if only one thing on their mind, they'll hurt you. Did you really think that of me? Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. What's wrong? Guys, don't sleep with other guys. Of course not. Stop it. What's happening to me? Stupid, 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 stupid. Stop it, please. You stop it. Oh, for See what you made me do. Oh. It was awful. It was like I was talking to people who weren't there. What they were, weren't they? All the people you told me about. What, am I a, a freak? No. Oh, Sybil, no. <laughs> no, you're not a freak. You're making progress, believe it or not. Then why does it feel like I'm getting worse? Like these demons are taking me over. They're not demons, and they don't possess you. But they do, they do, they steal No, now time. listen to me. They're taking my life away. Listen to me, Sybil. What if they were the only way a little girl knew how to defend herself? By pretending she was somebody else. But she had to pretend so intensely that the pretending became real. Do you understand? What choices did you have, Sybil? Your mother abused you, your father was negligent, your grandmother died. He left me, the man in white left me. Who are you talking about? He said... She broke my arm. And he said, how's my big girl today? Good. And I saw that his cufflink was undone. So I asked him if I could fasten it for him like I did my daddy's. I see your cufflink. Sure, honey, he said. No one had ever called me honey before. 
and that he said you're ready to go home. And I knew, I knew he would take me with him. He would take me home and be my new daddy and take care of me like no one. But then he turned and walked away. Wait! 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 And when he left me, that was the first time. I went away too. But I'm a Dr. Sybil. And I'm not leaving. I'm gonna stay, okay? I want you to meet someone. This is Peggy. I heard the crash of glass in the art class. It reminded me of Lulu and the pickle dish. I just had to run to the door. How'd you get my mother's voice? That's my mother's no, voice. Turn no, it off. This is the voice of Peggy Lou when she's talking no, about what no, brought No, turn you that thing me. off. Turn it off. Don't you see, Sybil? Peggy Lou took on the anger that you felt but couldn't express for being unjustly accused of breaking the pickle dish. I don't want her to take on my anger. I don't want anything to do with her. And for that reason, Peggy breaks glass. Well, I wish she'd stop. She's costing me too much money. <laughs> Well, she will stop when you can get angry in your own right. Do you want to hear more? No. This is Vicky. Quel âge avez-vous? J'ai dit sweet all. French is terrible. Yeah. I pray to God like Grandma did. I lead a good Christian life. I try to forgive Sybil's mother whenever she hurts her. The girls did the measurements. You gotta give them credit. But Mike and I did the rest. They'd be helpless without us. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. you're all together again, you'll get it back. No, no, I won't. I'll never get it back. There's too many of them. No. Sybil. No. No. Stupid! 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 What? Stupid! You just can't trust them! Nobody lied Do you me. know who I am? Nobody. I'm Mary. Mary Lucinda Dorset, but I understand you were afraid. I quite liked him. She doesn't know what she's talking about. You should listen to me, Marsha. But you don't want to listen to anybody. You don't want to hear anybody. So it's not Sybil. Yeah, what do you know? You're just a girl. Girls don't know anything. Please stop it. Please stop it. Yeah, I'm such a good. Please no more. Please, please. <laughs>
Who stopped you? They all did. I don't want to go to hell, Dr. Wilbur, but it's better than living like this. I want to live without hurting. I want to live without bad dreams and crying and waking up not knowing where I've been or what I've done. I want a friend. I'm your friend, Sybil. If you had succeeded tonight, I would have missed you very, very much. So I have an idea. I don't know if it's going to work, but I think it... Everyone inside you is a different age, right? Ruthie's six. Sid is 15. Vicky is 18. They're all stuck in time, and I think the first step in bringing you together is to make everyone the same age. Your age. How? I want permission to hypnotize you. No, now, I know, I know that I promised that I would never do that, but there was so much that I didn't understand back then, and, well, you didn't know me and didn't trust me, but now you do, don't you? Yes. Good. <laughs> and I think we should start this weekend. We can, um, go to my house on the lake and... You are now in a deep, restful state. I want you to think of a day when you were a child that was a happy day. Can you think of one? Yes. And how old are you? Three. And why are you happy? Because Mother isn't bothering me. She's comforting the jacket. She hasn't spoken for a long time. But that's okay because I can do what I want. Now, when I touch your hand, I want to speak to Ruthie, okay? Ruthie? Do you see little Sybil? Do you see how happy little Sybil is? Yes. You can be happy too. Would you like that? Oh, yes. But you have to grow up. You have to get older. You have to be eight and then 10, 12, 14, 16. But that's okay. Then I can paint. I could do all the things I can't do now. Good. Are you ready? You're growing and growing and growing. Wow. And now when I touch your hand, I want to speak to Sid, okay? Sid? Yeah. How old are you? Fifteen. Wouldn't you like to grow up, too? Okay. Except if I grow up, I'm gonna die. I don't want to die. No, you won't die, Sid. You'll just see the world through older eyes. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. And now you're 16, now you're 17, and you're 18. Oh, Montu, he's my age now. Yes, Vicky. And now it's your turn. Shouldn't you be Sybil's age, since you have the memory of all the years that make her older? I suppose so, if you put it that way. Since you're the shepherd, Vicky, I want you to gather everyone with you. Ruthie and Sid, Vanessa and Marsha. Do I have to be Sybil's age? I don't want to grow up. But Peggy, it'll be easier when you are all the same age, okay? Is that okay? Will I still be able to do the things that I like to do? None of the others go to church. Only me. Oh, of course. You can still go to church. I'm not going to take anything away from you. What about you? 
Will you still be my friend? Of course, I'll still be your friend. Now you are going to wake up, and when you do, you will all be the same age and share the same memories. Do you understand? Are you ready? Is everyone ready? And when I touch your hand, you will wake up. Sybil? How do you feel, dear? Different. I can't explain it. That's all right. What do you remember? I don't want to think about it. But you do remember some things now. But they're not all bad memories, are they? There are some good memories, aren't they? Like when you were playing dress up in the attic, when you were happy playing dress I shouldn't dress have been happy. Why? My mother was sick. When someone's your mother, you're supposed to love her. Bad girl! Not if she doesn't deserve it. What she did to you was terrible. She didn't do those things. Yes, she did. I don't know. I don't understand. I loved her. Mother loves you. I tried to love her. Even when. She... But I, I couldn't. I. 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 I didn't. I. I guess. I, I, I hated her. Whenever she hurt me, I wanted to hurt her back. God, she shouldn't have done those things! I hate her! I want to kill her! Even if she is my mother, I want her dead! I want her dead! I want her dead! Ugh. Oh... G Oh. Uh -huh.